As a child, Bruce Wayne develops a fear after falling into an abandoned well infested with bats, and subsequently sees his parents' death at the hands of mugger Joe Chill. Chill is given parole years later in exchange for consenting to testify against criminal leader Carmine Falcone. Bruce, now a young man, arrives to the courthouse with the intention of killing Chill, but one of Falcone's assassins kills him before. Bruce confides in his childhood friend Rachel Dawes, who is now a district attorney in Gotham City and is repulsed by Bruce's quest for vengeance. Bruce flees Gotham to study the ways of the criminal underground, hoping to gain talents that would allow him to return to Gotham and rid it of the crime and corruption that threatens to engulf it. In a Bhutanese jail, he meets Dickard, who promises to train him as a ninja of Ra's al Ghul's League of Shadows. Bruce learns of the League's true goals when he completes his training, to rid Gotham of the ills that afflict it by destroying the city. He burns down the League's temple, killing Ra's while saving Dickard's life. Bruce is back in Gotham. While outwardly portraying himself as a wild playboy, he invests in his family's firm, Wayne Enterprises, a technological and defense conglomerate led by the unscrupulous CEO William Earle, who plans to go public. Bruce encounters Lucius Fox, who shows him to some of Wayne's experimental prototype technology, like as an armored automobile and protective bodysuit, which he utilizes to create his crime-fighting identity, Batman. As Batman, Bruce intercepts an illicit drug shipment, allowing Sergeant Jim Gordon and the Gotham police to apprehend Falcone, who was previously untouchable. Meanwhile, a Wayne Enterprises cargo ship is robbed, and an experimental weapon known as a microwave emitter is seized, which utilizes microwaves to evaporate an enemy's water supply. Back in Gotham, the crooked Dr. Jonathan Crane declares Falcone and his henchmen mentally unfit for trial and transfers them to Arkham Asylum. Crane had been using Falcone to import a hazardous hallucinogenic substance that induces severe insanity. Batman gets exposed to the drug while investigating Crane and is rescued by Alfred and given an antidote by Fox. Crane confesses to Rachel that he has been pouring the poison into Gotham's water supply before treating her with it. Batman saves her and exposes Crane to the venom before interrogating him. According to Crane, the poison is innocuous in liquid form and only hazardous when breathed. Batman immunizes Rachel and offers her two antidote vials, one for Sergeant Gordon and one for mass production. Bruce is challenged by Dickard, who exposes himself to be the actual Ra's al Ghul during his birthday celebration at Wayne Manor. To get rid of his visitors, Bruce pretends to have a drunken rant, leaving him alone with Ra's and his ninjas. Roz explains the League's plot to destroy Gotham, after stealing the microwave emitter and conspiring with Crane, they want to vaporize the city's contaminated water supply, causing mass panic and violence. The League sets fire to the mansion, trapping Bruce within until he is rescued by Alfred. As the League prepares to release the poison, Batman saves Rachel from a drug-induced mob and exposes his actual identity to her. He entrusts the Batmobile to Sergeant Gordon and chases Roz, who is delivering the weapon around Gotham via the city's rail system. Roz confronts Batman on the train and flees just as Gordon uses the Batmobile to smash the elevated rails, killing Roz in the subsequent collision. Batman becomes a popular hero, but he also loses Rachel, who is unable to love both Bruce and Batman. Bruce purchases a majority share in Wayne Enterprises which is now publicly traded, dismisses Earl, and replaces him with Fox. Lt. Jim Gordon has been promoted. He displays the new bat signal to Batman and discusses a new masked criminal who leaves Joker cards at crime sites. Batman pledges to look into it and then vanishes into the night.